Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your hamburger menus a lot more interesting. Hey guys, so today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I wanna walk you through how to create a hamburger menu with a CSS transition uh, from turning the three bars into an X. Let's get started. All right guys, so today I wanna to show you how to walk through uh, making this little hamburger menu icon here. Um, it's gonna use a combination of uh, some CSS styling and transitions with um, just a jQuery click. Um, so I've got a new uh, pen started here. I'm using, I'm doing all this in code pen, uh, and I'll put the link in the bottom when we're done so you can see uh, all the code for it. Just to walk you through what we have right now, all we have is a, uh, a blue circle here called wrapper. And then we have uh, a main item that I've also labeled menu. And there you can see um, it's got a width and a height of 150 px. That's also over here in our code. And we'll take this transition, we don't need that. Um, so right now, this we only have a, a blue circle, but we're gonna put um, that menu that you saw a second ago in there um, and show you how to make the uh, animation happen. So. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is create some close out of that, is create some items underneath our main menu for each of our individual lines. So I'm going to create three spans. I'm going to give them the class of line, and I'm going to give them line one, line two, and line three. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is go into our CSS and create a line class. Um, the reason I give them the same class for all three is because they're all going to look the same. Um, so there's no reason for me to code the exact same line three times when I can just make one. It's the whole point of CSS. So uh, what we're going to do and do is take this and make a position absolute, and then do a height of 15 px and a width of 100% and then a background of white. That's going to show it up right there. Um, we're going to want to curve those edges, so we're going to do a border radius of um, 8px. I should pull those in. Just try it and change it to 10 just in case. Yeah, it should be fine. All right. Um, and now what we're going to do is, since we have, we technically have three of those in there right now, so we want to build each one of those a little bit off from the top so that they're not all stacked on top of each other and that they're um, kind of aligning in the middle of the circle. So uh, for the first line we're going to do top and we're going to do about 30%. There we go. All right, and then we're going to copy this three times or twice, I guess. For the second one we're going to do 50%. And last one, we're going to do 70%. Let's see how that looks. Oops. It's a little bit weird. Let's increase this one to 80 and drop this one to 20. We'll see what that looks like. There we go. It's pretty close. Uh, let's just drop these down one pixel or 1% each, just so that it lines up a little bit more there in the middle. OK, that's pretty close. We'll go with that. Um, so now what we're going to want to do is create the jQuery that's going to um, make the transition happen. Uh, CodePen allows you to load in a JavaScript library, so I've got the jQuery library loaded in here. So the first thing I want to do is figure out what I want to select, and that's going to be my menu. And when I click on that menu, I want to start a function. and then I'll build out my function here. So uh, what I want to do here is on this item, I want to toggle class of um, close. So close, we're gonna put that in. Okay. 
So now if I inspect this and I click on it, you'll notice that it adds the close class right there. Right now that's obviously not doing anything because we don't have anything set too close. So I'm going to do uh, menu, close here. And uh, we're gonna target line one. Uh, now the first thing we wanna do is figure out a way to transition that to be um, diagonal and centered in the image. So what we're gonna do is transform and rotate 45 degrees. All right, there we go. And then, uh, because line one is set to top of 19% right here, we're gonna wanna make that top 50, well, we'll do 49%, 49%. So that should put it about right in the center. We can, we can mess with it a little bit. Then I'm gonna copy this and paste it. And I'm gonna make it for lines two and three. And the reason I'm doing this for lines two and three is because uh, we have three lines inside of uh, the image, and we need to look, make those to look like two lines once it turns in the X. Um, so we're gonna do the same transition for both uh, line two and line three. And all I'm gonna do here is make this negative, and that should give me that X. Now, the reason that we're seeing this is because the close is set to the class, but if I were to save this and reload it, it's gonna go back to that menu item. But because we have this jQuery in here, if I click on this, it should transition. So now this would be just fine if you were creating a, um, uh, a menu that you wanted to have a close button on, this would work just fine, but it's not really fancy. It's not really interesting. Uh, we want that fun little transition there to happen. So uh, that's there's a really easy way to make that happen. What we're gonna do is because we gave this, all of these items the same class, we can control all this in one place. So type in transition, all ease 0 0.3 seconds, and save it. Now if I click it, it's going to do that transition right there. It's a little slow, I'm going to speed that up just a little bit, Let's see how that looks. There we go, I like that. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our main transition done, but uh, there's a way that we can make this just a little bit better by adding uh, something really simple to it. Um, in that original one that we looked at, it had a little bit of a bounce to it at the end, and the reason for that is because um, when you design something that animates, it needs to follow some sort of real-world principles that make it seem more natural. Um, Disney has a really good video, I'll link to it in the description, that explains all of this. Um, so, but what we basically want to do is have it bounce a little bit before it finishes the animation. So that's really easy to do. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're, we're going to go into here, excuse me, and uh, Chrome has this really convenient little Cubic Bezier editor, that's what that uh, Cubic Bezier is, Cubic Bezier. Um, and this allows us to see kind of what the animation does when it transitions. So right now, uh, it's it's somewhat linear. It, it goes uh, a little bit slow at the beginning and a little faster at the end. That's what an ease is. Um, if we were to pull this down, then it would do a little snap. Um, slow and then snap, and then slow and then snap. Um, what we're actually going to do is pull it up above the end here to get it to make that little bounce. There you go. So we got the little bounce now. So basically what I'm going to do is copy the transition here and paste it in. And now that should be in there all the time. So it's, it just gives it a little more life, a little more character. So um, that's it. You can use this same method to create all kinds of different shapes and uh, animations. But uh, for an, a hamburger animation, which is so frequently used, this is really easy to do um, and uh, kind of a fun way to, to make your website just a little bit more interesting than it might have been. So hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel and we'll be putting out more stuff in the future. Have a good one.